Kurdish Kurdi, Kurdi pronounced Kudi is a continuum of northwestern Iranian languages spoken by the Kurds in Western Asia. Kurdish forms three dialect groups known as Northern Kurdish Kermanji, Central Kurdish Sirani, and Southern Kurdish Palawani. A separate group of non-Kurdish northwestern Iranian languages, the Zaza Gurani languages, are also spoken by several million Kurds. Studies as of 2009 estimate between 8 and 20 million native Kurdish speakers in Turkey. The majority of the Kurds speak Northern Kurdish. Kermanji". The literary output in Kurdish was mostly confined to poetry until the early 20th century, when more general literature began to be developed. Today, there are two principal written Kurdish dialects, namely Northern Kurdish in the northern parts of the geographical region of Kurdistan and Central Kurdish further east and south. Central Kurdish is, along with Arabic, one of the two official languages of Iraq and is in political documents simply referred to as Kurdish. Topic. Classification and origin The Kurdish languages belong to the Iranian branch of the Indo-European family. They are generally classified as Northwestern Iranian languages, or by some scholars as intermediate between Northwestern and Southwestern Iranian. Martin Van Bruinessen notes that, "...Kurdish has a strong Southwestern Iranian element," whereas, "...Zaza and Gurani do belong to the Northwest Iranian group." Ludwig Paul concludes that Kurdish seems to be a northwestern Iranian language in origin, but acknowledges that it shares many traits with southwestern Iranian languages like Persian, apparently due to long-standing and intense historical contacts. Winfer identified Kurdish dialects as Parthian, albeit with a median substratum. Winfer and Fry assume an eastern origin for Kurdish and consider it is related to eastern and central Iranian dialects. The present state of knowledge about Kurdish allows, at least roughly, drawing the approximate borders of the areas where the main ethnic core of the speakers of the contemporary Kurdish dialects was formed. The most argued hypothesis on the localization of the ethnic territory of the Kurds remains D. N. Mackenzie's theory, proposed in the early 1960s. Mackenzie 1961. Developing the ideas of P. Tedesco (1921–255) and regarding the common phonetic isoglosses shared by Kurdish, Persian, and Baluchi, Mackenzie concluded that the speakers of these three languages may once have been in closer contact. He has tried to reconstruct the alleged Persian-Kurdish-Baluchi linguistic unity, presumably in the central parts of Iran. According to Mackenzie's theory, the Persians or Proto-Persians occupied the province of Fars in the southwest, proceeding from the assumption that the Achaemenids spoke Persian. The Baluchis, Proto-Baluchis, inhabited the central areas of western Iran, and the Kurds, Proto-Kurds, in the wording of G. Winfer, 1975 to 459, lived either in northwestern Luristan or in the province of Isfahan. Topic: <laughs> Subdivisions. Kurdish is divided into three groups, where dialects from different groups are not mutually intelligible without acquired bilingualism. Northern Kurdish is the largest dialect group, spoken by an estimated 15 to 20 million Kurds in Turkey, Syria, northern Iraq, and northwest and northeast Iran. Central Kurdish is spoken by an estimated 6 to 7 million Kurds in much of Iraqi Kurdistan and the Iranian Kurdistan province. Sirani is a written standard of Central Kurdish developed in the 1920s named after the historical Soran Emirate and was later adopted as the standard orthography of Kurdish as an official language of Iraq. Southern Kurdish is spoken by about 3 million Kurds in Kermanshah and Ilam provinces of Iran and in the Konakin district of eastern Iraq. In historical evolution terms, Kermanji is less modified than Sirani and Pelawani in both phonetic and morphological structure. The Sirani group has been influenced by among other things its closer cultural proximity to the other languages spoken by Kurds in the region including the Gurani language in parts of Iranian Kurdistan and Iraqi Kurdistan. The Kermanshahi group has been influenced by among other things its closer cultural proximity to Persian. Philip G. Crayenbrook, an expert writing in 1992, says, Since 1932 most Kurds have used the Roman script to write Kermanji. Sirani is normally written in an adapted form of the Arabic script. 
Reasons for describing Kermanji and Sarani as dialects of one language are their common origin and the fact that this usage reflects the sense of ethnic identity and unity among the Kurds. From a linguistic or at least a grammatical point of view, however, Kermanji and Sarani differ as much from each other as English and German, and it would seem appropriate to refer to them as languages. For example, Sarani has neither gender nor case endings, whereas Kermanji has both. Differences in vocabulary and pronunciation are not as great as between German and English, but they are still considerable. According to Encyclopedia of Islam, although Kurdish is not a unified language, its many dialects are interrelated and at the same time distinguishable from other Western Iranian languages. The same source classifies different Kurdish dialects as two main groups, northern and central. The reality is that the average Kermanji speaker does not find it easy to communicate with the inhabitants of Sulaymaniyah or Halabja. Some linguistic scholars assert that the term Kurdish has been applied extrinsically in describing the language the Kurds speak, whereas ethnic Kurds have used the word term to simply describe their ethnic or national identity and refer to their language as Kermanji, Sarani, Hurami, Kermanshahi, Kalhori, or whatever other dialect or language they speak. Some historians have noted that it is only recently that the Kurds who speak the Sarani dialect have begun referring to their language as Kurdi, in addition to their identity, which is translated to simply mean Kurdish. Makriani dialect of Central Kurdish is widely spoken in Makrian. Paranshar and Mahabad are two principal cities of the Makrian dialect area. Topic: <laughs> Zazaki and Gurani. Zaza Gurani languages, which are spoken by communities in the wider area who identify as ethnic Kurds, are not linguistically classified as Kurdish. Zaza Gurani is classified as adjunct to Kurdish, although authorities differ in the details. Winford 2009 groups Kurdish with Zaza Gurani within a Northwestern I group, while Glottolog based on Encyclopedia Iranica prefers an aerial grouping of central dialects or Kermanic within northwest Iranic, with Kurdish but not Zaza Gurani grouped with Kermanic. Gurani is distinct from northern and central Kurdish, yet shares vocabulary with both of them and there are some grammatical similarities with central Kurdish. The Harami dialects of Gurani includes a variety that was an important literary language since the 14th century, but it was replaced by Central Kurdish in the 20th century. European scholars have maintained that Gurani is separate from Kurdish and that Kurdish is synonymous with the Northern Kurdish group, whereas ethnic Kurds maintain that Kurdish encompasses any of the unique languages or dialects spoken by Kurds that are not spoken by neighboring ethnic groups. Gurani is classified as part of the Zaza Gurani branch of Indo Iranian languages. The Zaza language, spoken in the northernmost parts of Kurdistan, differs both grammatically and in vocabulary and is generally not understandable by Gurani speakers but it is considered related to Gurani. Almost all Zaza speaking communities, as well as speakers of the closely related Shabaki dialect spoken in parts of Iraqi Kurdistan, identify themselves as ethnic Kurds. Jeffrey Haig and Ergin Opengen in their recent study suggest grouping the Kurdish languages into Northern Kurdish, Central Kurdish, Southern Kurdish, Zaza, and Gurani, and avoid the subgrouping Zaza Gurani. The notable professor Zer Yusupova has carried out a lot of work and research into the Gurani dialect, as well as many other minority, ancient Kurdish dialects. History During his stay in Damascus, historian Ibn Washia came across two books on agriculture written in Kurdish, one on the culture of the vine and the palm tree, and the other on water and the means of finding it out in unknown ground. He translated both from Kurdish into Arabic in the early 9th century AD. Among the earliest Kurdish religious texts is the Yazidi Black Book, the sacred book of Yazidi faith. It is considered to have been authored sometime in the 13th century AD by Hassan bin Adi, b. 1195 AD, the great grandnephew of Sheikh Adi ibn Musafir, d. 1162, the founder of the faith. It contains the Yazidi account of the creation of the world, the origin of man, the story of Adam and Eve and the major prohibitions of the faith. From the 15th to 17th centuries, classical Kurdish poets and writers developed a literary language. The most notable classical Kurdish poets from this period were Ali Hariri, Ahmad Khani, Malay Jaziri and Fakih Tyran. 
The Italian priest Maurizio Garzoni published the first Kurdish grammar titled Grammatica e vocabolario della lingua kurda in Rome in 1787 after 18 years of missionary work among the Kurds of Ahmadiyya. This work is very important in Kurdish history as it is the first acknowledgement of the widespread use of a distinctive Kurdish language. Garzoni was given the title Father of Kurdology by later scholars. The Kurdish language was banned in a large portion of Kurdistan for some time. After the 1980 Turkish coup d'état until 1991 the use of the Kurdish language was illegal in Turkey. Topic. Current status Today, Central Kurdish is an official language in Iraq. In Syria, on the other hand, publishing materials in Kurdish is forbidden, though this prohibition is not enforced anymore due to the civil war. Before August 2002, the Turkish government placed severe restrictions on the use of Kurdish, prohibiting the language in education and broadcast media. The Kurdish alphabet is not recognized in Turkey, and prior to 2013 the use of Kurdish names containing the letters X, W, and Q, which do not exist in the Turkish alphabet, was not allowed. In 2012, Kurdish language lessons became an elective subject in public schools. Previously, Kurdish education had only been possible in private institutions. In Iran, though it is used in some local media and newspapers, it is not used in public schools. In 2005, 80 Iranian Kurds took part in an experiment and gained scholarships to study in Kurdish in Iraqi Kurdistan. In March 2006, Turkey allowed private television channels to begin airing programming in Kurdish. However, the Turkish government said that they must avoid showing children's cartoons, or educational programs that teach Kurdish, and could broadcast only for 45 minutes a day or four hours a week. However, most of these restrictions on private Kurdish television channels were relaxed in September 2009. In 2010, Kurdish municipalities in the southeast decided to begin printing water bills, marriage certificates and construction and road signs, as well as emergency, social and cultural notices in Kurdish alongside Turkish. Friday sermons by imams began to be delivered in the language, and Esnaf provided Kurdish price tags. The state run Turkish Radio and Television Corporation started its 24 hour Kurdish television station on 1 January 2009 with the motto, We live under the same sky. The Turkish Prime Minister sent a video message in Kurdish to the opening ceremony, which was attended by Minister of Culture and other state officials. The channel uses the X, W, and Q letters during broadcasting. In Kyrgyzstan, 96.4% of the Kurdish population speak Kurdish as their native language. In Kazakhstan, the corresponding percentage is 88.7%. Phonology Indo-European linguistic comparison Because Kurdish is an Indo-European language, there are many words that are cognates in Kurdish and other Indo-European languages such as Avestan, Persian, Sanskrit, German, English, Norwegian, Latin and Greek, Source, Altiranisches Wörterbuch, 1904 for the first two and last six Grammar Vocabulary The bulk of the vocabulary in Kurdish is of Iranian origin, especially of northwestern Iranian. A considerable number of loanwords come from Semitic, mainly Arabic, which entered through Islam and historical relations with Arab tribes. Yet, a smaller group of loanwords which are of Armenian, Caucasian, and Turkic origins are used in Kurdish, besides some European words. There are also Kurdish words with no clear etymology, some of which may be substratal remnants of ancient languages once spoken in the area, such as Hurrian. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Writing system. The Kurdish language has been written using four different writing systems. In Iraq and Iran, it is written using an Arabic script composed by Saeed Kaban Sedki. More recently, it is sometimes written with a Latin alphabet in Iraq. In Turkey, Syria, and Armenia, it is now written using a Latin script. Kurdish was also written in the Arabic script in Turkey and Syria until 1932. There is a proposal for a unified international recognized Kurdish alphabet based on ISO 88591 called Yekgirtu. 
Kurdish in the former USSR is written with a Cyrillic alphabet. Kurdish has even been written in the Armenian alphabet in Soviet Armenia and in the Ottoman Empire a translation of the Gospels in 1857 and of All New Testament in 1872. See also Kurdish culture Kurdish Institute of Paris Kurdish Institute of Istanbul List of countries by Kurdish-speaking population University of Kurdistan Iran. University of Kurdistan, Haller References Topic. External links Wikiferhang Kurdish Wiktionary Inkurdish, English Kurdish Translation Online English Kurdish Translation Dictio, English Kurdish Dictionary The Kurdish Institute of Paris, Language and Literature Kurdish Language and Linguistics, at Encyclopedia Iranica article written by Ludwig Paul History of Kurdish Written Literature, at Encyclopedia Iranica article written by Philip G. Kreenbrook Kurdish Language Initiative of Sewan Institute Kurdish Institute of Istanbul Cal, the Kurdish Academy of Language Kurdish Language Academy in Iran Kurdish Kurdish links and language information, dictionary etc. Kurdish languages at Kurli Grammar of a less familiar language MIT OpenCourseWare Southern Kurdish phonetic Gurani influence on Central Kurdish Reference grammar with selected readings both for Sarani and Kermanji written by W.M. Thaxton <laughs>